Alright, um, uh, this is Matthew and today I'm going to make a video about this question. I guess if not mistaken, this is the 2018 uh, October November paper 2 to question number 12. Alright, yeah, one of my India students actually asked me to discuss about this question because he's having the February March exam tomorrow for IGCSE. So I decided to make a quick video for him. All right, so let's have a look on this question. All right, so in this question, a plan that can travel 260 km per hour in the steel A and due north, a wind with the speed 40 meters of 40 km per hour from a bearing of 310, blow the plan off course, find the resultant speed of the plans and its direction as a bearing correct to one decimal place. So at the end, when we got the bearing, we just correct to the one decimal place. Okay, so over here, we actually we have few information. The first is 260 km per hour is in the steel air due north. So at least I know this one should be the velocity plan relative to the width, which is 260. And we have the di direction, which is north right this one is camp per hour definitely right and then a wind with the speed of 40 so velocity of the wind over here is given which is 40 camp per hour from the bearing of 310 so over here the most important keywords is from because the 310 is not toward 300 and 10 bearing is from that bearing so just in case you have no idea why is the pattern of 310 i'm going to show you let's say this is a north so this one is 270 above here a little bit this is 310 so what we know is the angle between here should be 50 degree because the whole thing should be 310 right so 310 will be the whole angle here yeah so Basically, this is the pattern of it. All right, and then the question asked me to find the redundant speed of the plan and its directions. Yeah, and then we need to know what is the direction of, of the plan. All right, so right now I will need to form the triangle. As what I always do is, we know the rule velocity of plan will equal to velocity plan relative to wind plus velocity of the wind. All right, this formula, you can only straight away substitute using this formula when Two condition. First condition is 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 in the column vector form. Uh, it's in in column vector form. Second condition when you can substitute when it's only one dimension. When I say one dimension, that means your question can only have left and right. Left and right. Then maybe you can try to substitute uh the value in into the formula. Or else, like this one, you have the bearing and the river case. The purpose of this formula only have one purpose. This formula only help you to draw the triangle. So it's only help you to draw the triangle. That's all. You cannot do any substitution. Because a lot of students, when they got this information, they try to sub into this formula and you will, you will get this question wrong. All right. So I'm going to use the information to draw a triangle. So when you use this information, the one very important is we know velocity of the P here will be my resultant speed. Or you can call it resultant vector or resultant speed, which is my velocity of plan. And these two relative and the wind, both of these uh, you, you can swap around because it's a plus. So you swap around, it doesn't matter. The most important is a uh, the redundant vector. So over here, we don't have any information about redundant vector, but I try to form the triangle first. All right, so, okay, we have the wind here. All right, the wind is look like this. This is the wind. And then we have the, yeah, we have the plan relative to wind. So I will roughly draw like this. So this is velocity plan relative to wind. This is velocity of the wind. Of course, the last one, the redundant vector, I, I will connect like this to make it redundant vector. Yeah, you might think, what well, if you draw the triangle differently, is, is it okay? I guess normally you have two ways to draw it. 
Uh, I guess you can also draw like this if you want. And then your resultant vector will look like this. I guess both triangles should give you the same answer. Alright, just depend which one you draw. Okay, so right now I'm going to use the first one. Of course, you can try the second one. It should give back you the same result. Alright. Okay, so let's have a look on this one. So I know this is 260. And I know this one will be 40. And because of the 310 I draw here, we know this is 50 degrees, isn't it? So in order to find the velocity of the plant here, basically you know this triangle, you, you need to solve it, you just use the, uh, the cosine rule. So I will just use the cosine rule here. Velocity of the plant will equals to 40 square plus 360 square. I mean square. Minus 2, minus 2, multiply 40, multiply 260, and cos 50 degree. Alright, and square root the whole answer. This is cosine rule, just in case you have no idea what is happening here. This one is basically is a square equals to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a. Yeah, I'm just using this formula and you realize why I have the square root because I moved the a square to the other side. It actually becomes a square root. Alright, this is just a cosine rule. Alright, if you do not know how to use the cosine rule, yeah, please go, go to check out uh, my previous video. Alright, so over here, what I do next is basically I just type everything into the calculator. And then I should be able to get the answer easily. Minus 2 times 40 times 260 times cos 50. I square root my answer. I should get a very nice number. Uh, 236.28 okay, per hour. Since over here, the one decimal place is only applied for bearing. Yeah, he said find the redundant speed of the plane is direction of the bearing correct to one decimal place. So I will just leave like this. Alright. Or you can write 236 km per hour, mean ignore the 0.28, I think it should be fine also. Alright, then the next thing is I want to find the bear bearing. So the bearing over here is basically I need to find from the resultant speed here, which is a direction of here. So if let's say I have a north here, I basically I need to find this angle. But because this line and this line is actually the parallel, right? So in order to find this angle, I can use the alternate angle. I, because this angle and this angle will be the same because of the alternate angle. The N formula, still remember? So basically, I need to find this angle. If I can find this angle, then I can easily know the bearing. So in order to find this angle, I can just use the sine rule, if not mistaken. So I will say sine theta over opposite length which is 40 equals to sine, I use this one 50 over the 236.28. Then I can get my bearing easily by solving this equation. All right, so, and then I'm going to shift sign my answer here. Yes, I should get 7.5 angle. Right, this one is my bearing. Of course, the bearing you want to add the two more digits for it, I guess should be okay. Also, 007.5. Yeah, you can do that if you want, or you just leave like 7.5. I guess both also okay, but as long as it's one decimal place. All right, I guess this uh, that's all for these questions. I hope uh, this short tutorial actually can help you understand better about. Uh, relative velocity especially for the plan questions anyway i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know if you have any question all right see you guys in the next video bye